Hello and welcome to today's tutorial where we'll be learning how to create a blog page or, or a news page basically. So a uh, lot of restaurants have these and uh, it's really easy to set up in my restaurant theme. First things first, you'll need to create a page where you'll be hosting your blog. So you'll go to pages right here and uh, click on add new. And this is going to be just a page where my restaurant theme renders your blog content, your news content. So you can title it whatever you want, let's we'll just call it news. And you don't really need to do anything else, all you have to do is press publish. Next, you're going to go down to the my restaurant menu right here. And click on block settings. And on this page, you'll be able to fine-tune every detail of how your blog will uh, be displayed to your visitors. There are several options here, uh, which you can fool around with yourself. But the most important thing that you need to do is specify which page your blog should be shown on. And that will be the page that we just created. And right here in this field, all of the pages that you have existing in your WordPress installation will be available automatically. So since we just created the news page, we'll just enter it right here. And we'll leave all of these options untouched for now and press save changes. And actually, if we go to our website and type in the URL of the page, you can already see that the standard WordPress uh, first blog post is present already. Now let's just uh, go back to posts. Now posts are a separate type of content in, uh, available for you in WordPress to use. You'll basically use it to publish news articles for your website. And when you click on all posts, you'll see all of the posts that you have on your website at the moment. And you'll be able to add new posts, categorize them, add tags, and sort their order uh, with MyRestaurantTeam.com. So first of all, let's just get rid of the Hello World post by pressing Trash. That was the original post that WordPress created for uh, upon installation. And now let's just add a new post. Fill out the title add some content to your post and then specify a category and at the moment we only have the uncategorized category which is what WordPress originally came with and uh, I don't want to put this post into that category I want to create a new category by pressing this button right here and I'll just call it news and press add new category and as you can see it is included here and it's checkmarked already for us so that's great and I can also add tags to this post. Tags are basically added descriptions for each post that you'll have on your blog or your, or your newsreel. And you can uh, basically write any sort of tag. So for example, this post will be on our new chef. You can maybe add his name and other tags if you like. Once you add a new tag, you'll see it here. And if you don't want it, after all, you can just delete it by pressing the X. Next, you'll scroll down a bit and uh, upload your featured image for this post. Next, you select the file you want to upload. As you can see, I have uh, a file prepared already. I'll just press that and press open. And once WordPress uploads it, I'll just scroll down a bit and press Use as Featured Image. Pressing that button makes this picture the featured image for this post. And actually, I don't even need to press Save All Changes because that did it for me already. So I'll just press the X right here to close this, this window. And as you can see, the featured image is included already. And all I need to do now is press Publish. Once WordPress publishes the post, we can view it right here. And as you can see, the featured image has been inserted very nicely for us, uh, resized automatically. And let's just go back to the block settings page for a second. And here you can uh, basically vary every single aspect of your, your blog page. 
you can specify the layout, how you want the featured image to appear, whether you want to show the full blog post or not. So basically everything, you can even exclude specific categories. So if you have more categories, you can uh, exclude whichever you don't need. Let's just click on category since I don't want to include that. Single blog is where you can modify the layout and design of the single blog post or the single news post. So for example, you could uh, turn off the featured image, make the featured image into a full width image, which is nice. Let's just refresh this page right here. That's basically what it does. You could uh, also uh, add the light box for it. You could uh, specify it to show the meta information for the given blog post. So if you turn this on, I'll just turn the featured image type back to left slope quickly. And if you press save changes, you'll see that the meta information for the blog post appears right here. So the category, the date it was published on, and whether there are any comments or not. Also, there are a bunch of different variables that you can uh, specify. For example, what meta information you want shown, how you want the full width featured image to appear, and also what size you want the left float featured, featured image to appear as well. And I'll just go ahead and create another blog post real quick. And if we go back to the blog main page and refresh, you'll see that the new post that I created has been added and if you scroll down you'll be able to see all of the previous posts that you that you uploaded as well and of course you can change the layout of this uh, page as well so if I wanted to make these featured images the small left layout featured images just go back to my restaurant blog settings blog general and uh, right here where it says featured image type instead of full width I just want to say left float and save changes. Once I do that I press refresh and the layout of the newsreel is instantly changed. Okay so that's about it for our tutorial on how to add a news section to your website. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!